the last one. We release 12 Pig Muff. Step on the line as well. and everybody wanted to know who we were and we thought it was hilarious. So we, then we got our old drummer Jeremy, an early guy, we started playing shows. And uh, we played a couple without even telling anybody, not even our friends, anything like that, because we didn't want to be that band that our friends just showed up just because they were our friends. We wanted to spread a message to music and not be happy. So this is the first song we ever wrote. It's called Brainstorming. We haven't played it.
sure. Uh, it worked out great that our last shows in the Mongol Boys are a band that we really admire. They were here at the time too. And it's really refreshing. We played with them a lot of times now, and it's been some of the best times that we've considered ourselves to have with the band. So, really, this next song goes out to Mongo. We will be giving away the uh, last like new recordings that we all did uh, on cassette. There's only 50 of them, so if you miss out, I'm sorry. Just, you'll see us afterwards, and we'll have the box open. Just grab one. Alright, we have two more, and then we're done forever. Thanks everybody for coming. Yeah.
all so much. It's uh, This may not seem like as big of a deal to some of you who may have not heard us, but for us, this is a time in our life where we saw ourselves become whole people, and we saw some of the greatest moments of my adult life. Yeah! I, so I, uh, I normally wouldn't be so curt, but it's the last show, so fuck it. Really, we started this band as a need to subvert some of the things that we saw going on in the scene that we were part of in high school that we thought was so wrong. So much of what goes into hardcore nowadays is based off of a hierarchy. There are certain individuals who basically break the one hardcore creed and the one motto. The reason why we have had this passed down to us from our brothers and sisters in the 80s is that this is for absolutely and unequivocally everybody. And if you don't believe that that's true, I need to be so confrontational, but I personally don't think you belong here. I think you need to reanalyze your priorities, and if you're here just to get your aggression out on another human being, then take that out of the fucking football field because you're yeah. So much of what is done is by few individuals who are looking to preserve their place at the top of this hierarchy. Yes. The reason why they want themselves to remain different from everybody else. And they want there to be, because they essentially want there to be a hierarchy in this system. It allows them to be superior over you. And ultimately, it's a complete and utter travesty on our scene. What this needs to, what needs to be done with this is not just to resist it, but to excise the cancer. Because what it's doing is it's concerning individuals and giving them the notion that they're greater than somebody else. And the one motherfucking cut it up its place. Yeah!